hey you runescape it's I'm Ajarex and if you look around me I'm actually at the gnome stronghold now every time I um, make a commentary video from now on I'm probably going to be at a different location probably just because they are starting to update most of runescape I think the elf village actually comes after this is what I've heard but the gnome village is actually supposed to be updated within like within a month actually yeah and that's what I want to talk about right now is the um, ooh, 75 B thing. I don't have that. <laughs> I should probably go train that soon. That, that'll be this week's uh, whatever it's called, passive training. <laughs> I made the I made the series and I don't remember what it's called. But anyways, um, so the the thing this week that not this week that was a brain dud but the updates this month that are coming out they they don't seem extremely appealing to me uh, for one there's a Mortania task set coming out now I'm not 100% sure on what the point of a Mortania task set is they'd have to add in some item that is just kinda overpowered like um, open the task list now the only one that I've completely done is um, Sears Village and that was because you get the enchanted Excalibur and you could heal yourself for 500 HP for every spec. And I thought that was pretty pretty ridiculous, so I actually did it. Um, but the Mortania one, I'm not sure what would be so good about it. They said there would be some bonus rewards from uh, from Temple Trekking. I had to think of the game, uh, the mini game that it was called. And there was some halving your prayer drain at Barrows, but I mean they're just kind of simple things. I, I don't, I personally don't go over to Mortania like ever. It it's not one of those big kind of catch your catch your attention kind of thing. And uh, personally, that's just not one of those updates that I'll be looking forward to. Um, other than that, one that everybody should be looking forward to is Bonus Experience Weekend. Now, what am I going to be doing on that weekend? I am going to be spending uh, I'll probably spend all of my money I, I bought 99 farming like I said I, I would did I'll probably get that to 86 but it, it's it's kinda ridiculous getting it to 99 and I there's a there's a good possibility that I will be able to get it to um, I'm gonna try to score a goal there's a good possibility that I can get it to or my herb lore level to 99 if I spend everything that I have and I try to make money from now until then and I think it's on the 16th of March this this uh, this time so yeah you should be looking forward to that I should really start buying buying uh, stuff but I'll, I'll start that anyways ask this guy um oh wow I got hit what the this game is rough I'm gonna tackle this guy give me the ball bro he defended it I am level 138 <laughs> I'm shooting get out of my way bro um I've never played this before this is ridiculous but um <laughs> one of the things that I I have uh, also ooh. One of the things that is also happening is that they are reworking the graphical update on the Gnome Stronghold. And that's one of the big reasons that I'm here. Since they're changing it, I actually wanted to get a quick video and show you guys what it actually looked like before it happened. And oh, wow, I got tackled again. That's crazy. I'm terrible with this game. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the graphical artwork before it happened. And then once it happens, I will um, show you again. And it should be it should be a kind of a cool transition mode. It won't be the most impressive thing in my opinion, but uh, it might might look cooler than you think. So we can always give that a try. What else is coming out this uh, this month in behind the scenes? I'm trying to I'm thinking of this as I go. Um, one of the big things that is also coming out that I know of is. Um, graphical update rework to armor now when you hear that it it's pretty much a pointless update 
if they're just every time they update something graphically you know that there's not going to be any new content and you really shouldn't be looking forward to anything they're just making a big deal about it this time because uh, the rune armor and the adamant armor that they've had for I guarantee six years uh, since I've been playing they haven't changed the graphical armor update at all besides adding like a little bit of shine to it um, they haven't changed it at all so when they, they change it this time they they're they're basically changing like a rework of the game or at least that's what they're trying to make it sound like to me and it, I, just don't look forward to any new content pretty much uh, I even think the Mortani one's gonna be pretty far out there um, what else is there? Can I just tackle a random person? Yep. <laughs> um, what else is there that can be coming out? Well, another thing that's coming out is a new kind of bolt set, which I, I don't know how they're going to make that work because the bolts, they said if you pretty much aim at different spots, it'll do different things. Like, I. I I'm not sure what will happen if you like aim at someone's legs as compared to like their head. Um, it sound to me. I mean, why why would you ever aim at someone's legs if you had the choice of aim at someone's head? If you're shooting a crossbow, I'm pretty sure the best hit that you're gonna get is at their face. And if if they make it so that it's like five percent chance that you can hit their you know, face, but it's like a 100 percent chance that you hit their legs, you guys get to pick for yourselves which one you want to do. But the bolt, the bolt concept kind of confused me, especially when you're fighting. Uh, I'll just leave that one to when it comes out. I'll probably review it, um, just because I want to. What else is coming out? New loyalty points um, or loyalty point rewards? Nothing big on that one, in my opinion. Um, that's just another update that doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, do you guys do you guys think that matters? Oh wow. Loyalty points to me, uh, it's just kind of like something that you get just because like I actually went out and got a, a quarry master one, um, because I I was training mining, so why not? Um if you get if I got a score of like twenty thousand in this game, do would it just give me like Okay, if I is there a cap on this? Like, if I get twenty thousand gnome goals, is it like boom forty thousand XP when I throw it in there? That would be ridiculous, but it just keeps on going up. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for a little bit. So uh, I think that was it. There was gnome stuff, gnome rework, uh, some pussy graphical update. Uh. 60 EXP on uh that's crap it, it resets found that out this game is weird um I'll leave here I want to show you guys the rest of this I guess I think that's everything that I I really had to say I mean the the March update to me it it looks like basically zero percent content and almost 99 percent graphical update so. I mean, if you guys look forward to graphical updates, then go for it. You should be having a pretty good month. But uh, personally, I would like to see more content-based updates. Um, if you haven't seen that one video that I made about me talking about the, the ideas for RuneScape that I personally have, then I think you should go watch that. I wonder if I can punch Tortoise to that. Um, And I think that's all that I wanted to say. Yes, that that's that's all that I can think of uh, actually having. So I will. They actually did a graphic graphical rework on these tortoises. I I don't remember them being so like huge last time I was here. Or or fancily designed, it actually looks kind of like, kind of like a tortoise, like in real life. Look at his head, kind of pops out. That's cool. So they they have been updating these just kind of small changes. This probably came out in the last quest that happened. He just nailed it with a chaotic maul that doesn't really count. And I'll call him a cheater after this. 
but that's all I really wanted to say. March updates. Oh, there was another one that I forgot. The There's a new clan thing coming out. So I am currently in a clan. But as you can see, there's no one in there. And it loses a member pretty much like every day. Not, not, I'm, I'm not trying to be offensive towards the people that run the clan. I mean, I think they're, they're great people. Uh, I've, I've talked to them occasionally. But if they're coming out with new clan fealty things, which they said they were, uh, bonus XP if you have a cape running a citadel, I would actually spend quite a bit of time in a citadel, if, especially if I had, uh, if I was in a clan that had like 500 members or so, I would easily, um, I could find a ton of things to do with that. I mean, I'm in this clan chat, Bursting Mob CC, and that has like 60 members in it, and I think it's awesome. So, I mean, actually having a, a clan citadel, that would be probably one of the most fantastic things ever. So, I guess on this bonus XP weekend, I will spend all of my money, get up to 96 herb lore, and then enter a PVM clan because I'm uh, 138 combat. And the only reason why I can't join one right now is because I don't have overloads. That is my plan, you guys. I will see you guys again. This was kind of a quick video, in my opinion. There was there there wasn't a lot that I wanted to talk about for March updates. And usually, if I make a video like this, I'd like to make it. Um, I I, I if I had a person to talk with, that would be uh, probably better. I I could make a much longer video with a person to talk with. So I will um, see you guys later, I guess, and be making more videos this coming this week. So keep a look at you guys. Uh, see ya. Hey everybody, it's I'm Edge Rex. Uh, and what am I doing? Week? You had the I, I, I am actually going to show you that I have a Soul Wars trip. I was just a little bit of it, cool. and I'm rushing to see you guys.